Hello, happy Thursday. It's Deb from Tiny Deer Vintage and I'm here today with my Thursday vintage jewelry sale and uh, I hope everyone's having a great week. Um, I have some eclectic pieces here today that I'm kind of excited to go through and hopefully you'll find something that you like. Shipping starts at $6. I accept PayPal for payment and you can contact me at my email address tinydearvintage at gmail.com I will have that in the uh, video title to help you reach me and I just need a brief description or a screenshot or a timestamp of the item you are claiming. I think that covers everything. If you have any questions feel free to reach out and let's get started. Okay, today I'm starting with this beautiful silver tone bow motif necklace. It's a collar. It's in really beautiful condition. This is by Trafari. It has this really nice long extender and I even like how the extender is done with these rectangular links. It has the little ball drop at the end. This measures um, about 17 inches at its very longest. It has the hook right there. You can see the trafari. And let's look at the front up close. And then we'll look at the back. So you can see it's in brushed and glossy silver tone. Really pretty. And here is the back. It's a pretty piece and I priced it at $32 for this beautiful Trafari. I love bows. <laughs> I love bows. I do. Um, okay, next up I have a peaking glass set. I'm going to sell it as a set. First up is this adjustable ring. You can see it adjusts right there. There are no marks and signatures that I could detect. The ring is in exceptional condition. Really pretty peaking glass which I believe Peking Glass was made to mimic, is it Jade? I forget now. I had researched it. I wish I was able to retain that information. But anyway, it's really pretty. No chips or anything that I could detect. Really good condition. And right now it is set to, oh, do I have my ring mandrel out here? No. Let me pause this and grab it quick, sorry. Okay, I'm back with my mandrel. Right now it's set to about almost a seven and a half. It can go smaller. And I would say this could go up to, let's see, maybe an eight, eight and a half at the largest, I would think. Okay, so that's the ring. And here is the pendant necklace. Now the chain, I like the chain. It has texture on it. I'll show you that up close, but the chain does have some wear. And here is the beautiful Peking Glass Pendant. It's set in this gold tone frame. It's quite large. I do have the measurements for you. Let's see. And then we'll look at this up close. Uh, the Peking Glass set I've priced it at $38 for both pieces together because there is some wear on the chain. Um, I really like this chain, but if I were to wear it, I probably would replace the chain or spruce it up with some, uh, some gold paint. Let's see. $38. The pendant is three and a half by two and a half. You can see it's a big size. The chain is 24 inches. I'm 
sort of a pale gold. That is the back. This also, no signatures that I was able to find. It has this little bale, just a little fold over bale. And here is the chain. It's textured, oval links. It's a pretty chain. And it has this spring ring clasp. Also, no markings that I could detect. And that's it, the two piece set for $38, a beautiful peaking glass. Does it go this way? <laughs> okay, let's see, what should we do next? Next up, I have this beautiful amber necklace. Now, I have a similar one that I, I'm keeping. Um, I love these. Um, smooth carved polished beads they're so easy to wear here is the screw clasp very smooth very pretty all individually knotted in this beautiful like I would call this a light honey a honey color really beautiful nice pieces well made and this amber necklace is 19 inches long and it is $45 it's really pretty I've been wearing mine I've had a lot of neck pain it's gotten a lot worse the past few days, so I've been wearing mine and sleeping in it. $45, let me mark that down because I did discount it from what I had written the price as. $45 amber hand knotted necklace. Okay, next up I have this beautiful Whiting and Davis cameo bracelet. I believe this is one of their older pieces. I'm trying to turn the camera down and it doesn't want to budge. And I got this from Gina Gay and we knew that the chain needed fixing. We, meaning Gina and I, both knew this. And that it has some wear in the black background. Now I believe that that is enamel paint that can be easily touched up and if I were to keep her I would do that because I think she is stunning she is um, amber glass you can see she's quite substantial beautifully formed she's so pretty and the reason that she looks like she has that lip from within uh, re reflect I believe is because it's mirrored. You can see my fingerprints. Um, yeah, you can see the mirror finish back there. And I believe there's also a mirror finish on the other side of the back so that she glows like this. This is a heavy duty, substantial piece. Um, I'm loath to guess a year on this. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to guess, but it's older and I'll show you where it is marked oh and I repaired the chain by just adding a little jump ring to the chain so the chain is intact again here is the closure it's a nice secure snap I'll let you hear it nice and secure and let me show you the signature it is signed right there See if I can get it to focus. I know it's really shiny, but that's where the signature is anyway. You can see it right there, Whiting and Davis. And I'll tell you exactly how it is marked by reading it out. It is marked, it says mesh on the top and then Whiting ampersand davis 
it looks like maybe it was saying co but it's been cut off and then underneath that it says bags so I don't know when they signed their clamper bracelets with that signature but there it is right there and um, this inside measurement did I measure it I didn't but this would fit this fits me I can get it on and I can oh, I have bracelets on I don't know if I'll be able to get it on I would say this would fit anywhere from a smaller wrist say six inches all the way up to um, six and three quarters um, let me put it on here and see yeah this fits me and my wrist is between like six and three quarters and seven I don't think it would fit anything larger than a seven inch wrist and because of the little repair here and some of this uh, wear right here, I have priced this really well today. It's priced at $40 for a stunning vintage Whiting and Davis beautiful bracelet. It's, it's beautiful. If it fit me better, I would be keeping it. I would restore this black background and I would keep her but I need a little bit more room for it to be comfortable on me. Okay, so that's the Whiting and Davis cuff. She's $40 uh, clamper. And next up, what do I have? Let's do another Whiting and Davis. This is another special one that is also older. And let me see, I think I'm gonna need a bigger bust for this one. This, It's one of those pieces that I went back and forth on, back and forth. Do I keep it? <laughs> because it's really stunning. This is just beautiful. When it's upright like this, the Rivolis have more of like the pink and purple flash, but as you move, you can see this all the beautiful it's like a volcano of colors look at it and they're in amazing condition when you have these faux pearl drops and again this is one of their um, top tier pieces I would say it, it's beautifully made beautifully weighted um, let's take a look up close at the pendant part uh, and let's see, I did write down measurements on this. If I can find it, I'm better off probably just measuring it. Um, okay, so from the top here to the bottom is four inches. So it's a substantial size. And I'll tell you just what the circular part measures. That measures two and a quarter inches. So that's two and a quarter inches from here to here. And then you have these six stunning Rivolis. This can be taken off and put on any torque, any chain that you, you like, or you can keep it on this beautiful jointed circular necklace. And let me show you, let me lay this out flat so you can see exactly what that looks like. And the chain itself is, I believe it's about 18 inches. Let me see where I wrote that down. I did not write it down. I know I measured it, but you have this long adjustment here so you can wear it nice and short on the neck or you can go as long as, it's about 17 inches, 18 inches. And there it is. And it's so comfortable to wear because of the way this is jointed. I'll show you up close. Here is the pretty sort of uh, extension chain. Here is the signature. Waiting Davis. 
trying to get it to focus. Here's the other side of that little drop. Even the drop is nicer than like the later pieces by Whiting and Davis where the drop is just flat. This says exactly also mesh Whiting Davis CO and then underneath bags. It's really beautiful. And I priced this at $68. It's a beauty. It's the only one I've ever seen. I'm sure others exist, obviously, but it's the only one I've ever come across. Okay, that's the Whiting and Davis necklace. Uh, next up, I have this sweet little brooch. I have a few brooches today. I have one, two, three, four brooches. This is a little enamel pair. I love little fruit brooches especially when they're done so well like this one is it's a nice heavy duty brooch a little bit older you can see there's a little bit of an extension there on the pin no signature on it and the enameling is beautiful really well done this little pair is two inches and it's twelve dollars Really pretty. Little pear brooch. Okay, next up I have this incredible glass necklace. This glass necklace is 60 inches long and there is no clasp on it, but there is all kinds of glass, greens and blues different shapes just beautiful some are translucent some have really a really special art glass pressed glass you have some swirly glass some foil glass maybe there um, there's a stray little like pinky pinky square cube those cubes <laughs> it's just really I mean the colors are stunning this one look at that Ugh, I'm just crazy about glass this is beautiful and it doesn't have a class clasp but I was able to wrap this around three times Really beautiful. I'll show you what that looks like. Really versatile piece, you know, as to how you can wear it. All the different ways you can tie it. You can wear it just long. There it is. I kind of like it just layered in a messy way. That's it. It's beautiful. Really well done. Let's see. Blue, multi-stone, glass, 60 inches, and it is $38. Just beautiful. This one really catches my eye. Every time I look at it, I see something new and pretty. There she is. $38. Okay, next up, I have the sweet little pair of Monet earrings. They, um, these are a more modern Monet, still on the card, two inches long. Just a pretty versatile pair of Monet earrings to add to your collection. It has the original backs. I'll take one off and show you. Here is the signature. Right there, Monet. You can get a look here how they don't look like they were ever worn. I can't guarantee that. 
but they sure do look it. And these little Monets, um, actually, they're a little bit bigger as um, earrings this age go. Uh, let's see, what did I price these at? Monet earrings on the card, and great for gifting, too. Um, originally $23, and I'm offering these for $12 today. Really special gift for yourself or for the collector. Okay, let's see. Up next, I have a stunning gold tone mesh bracelet. I bought this from Gina Gay. I fell in love with it when I saw it. I knew there was a chance I would not be able to wear it because these mes mesh bracelets are usually on the smaller side and um, I need a little bit more room than this one will afford me, but it's beautiful. I believe this is a CZ because it has that very like diamond look to it. This is how it opens. Nice and secure. The mesh is in beautiful condition. It's nice and smooth. It's just under an inch here. And full length, it measures eight inches, but then you have to take off uh, about an inch or so. You want it to fit, you know, with a little bit of a tail. So I would say that this would fit a wrist that is under, mm, under seven inches, closer to maybe six and three quarters and smaller. Really pretty, unsigned. Um, did I show you the back of this? I love these mesh bracelets. And I hope to find one that fits me comfortably one day. Let's see. Yes, it measures eight inches, but really you've got to take about an inch off. And it's $30. Look at it. It's just so pretty. Front and back. Really clean. The mesh is in excellent condition. Really pretty mesh bracelet. Okay, moving on. What is next? Let's do, I did the boat collar. Um, I have these two really pretty cloisonne bracelets. I'm selling them as a set. Um, I believe they are Chinese uh, cloisonne, but I can't say for certain they're in this. Let's see, let's line them up together. Here is the hinge part and beautiful bright sapphire blue enameling and beautiful two-tone leaves and pink flowers and red flowers. Really pretty and you can see they're in beautiful condition. And here is the inside also that really beautiful blue enamel and the inside measurement on these I believe is two and a half let's see yes so this will fit an average wrist to a smaller wrist maybe seven inches and smaller let me try it on whoops excuse me yes this fits me well maybe a little bit bigger you could wear this maybe up to a seven and a half and this is how they open. Whoopsie. Um, did I say the price already? I apologize. I'm forgetting. I'm reading my notes. I hope you can bear with me. Really pretty. And these two cloisonne bracelets are $24 together for the set. Beautiful. Well done. Nice to have a set of them too. Um, okay, next up I have this rhinestone necklace that I had purchased because I believed it to be iris glass and I don't know anything about iris glass and I'm just trying to learn about it. And 
this has the coloration of iris glass. You see the different striations in there, kind of like a, a rainbow multicolor design. It's just beautiful. It's a stunning piece. I bought this from Kirsten Red so I could study it. Really pretty. There is the clasp. Uh, let's see. The iris glass rhinestone necklace is 16 inches and there's um, simple closure so it's good to uh, good to go if you want to add an extender to it. And let's take a look at these prong set in these little cups. Beautiful condition on this. Um, the color of the metal is like a bronze color, like an antique bronze. Do I have enough light here? Let me see bring this over here that's a little better you can see how it sparkles really beautifully it's a beautiful piece let's look at the back quick no signature no marks that I could find yeah I would call that like a bronze finish on there and like I said it measures about 16 16 and a half inches or so and this drop hair is about two inches here let me double check that quick yes it's two inches and you can really see in the larger stones all the color in there just beautiful and let's see this is 32 dollars really beautiful okay and let's see next up I have a beautiful brooch just really well done and this is I believe Sabrina glass is what they call it which is this sort of colored but translucent um, coloring in green and sort of like an opal glass look to it they seem to really glow and these little green rhinestones and some of these are uranium glass I will try to show you that they're not all uranium glass here is the back this is a nice larger brooch you can see really well made you can see some of the puddling of the metal nice long straight pin you can see how substantial it is and let's see if we can get it to glow and this brooch is three inches this way and about two and three quarter inches the other way and let's see if I can get her to glow here's my black light what did I price her at did I already say $36 Ooh, my flashlight is kind of dying but you can see you can see the glow, the ones that are glowing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the rhinestones have that uranium glow. Let's get these lights back on. Really beautiful collectible piece and $36. It's a beauty. Okay. Let's see, up next, I have, I have this Art Nouveau bracelet. Um, this is a larger, uh, excuse me, Art Nouveau style. The motif is Art Nouveau. It's sterling silver and amber. 
This is a larger bracelet. This is eight inches. Nice for stacking. You know, if you want to wear it higher up on your arm, really well made. Feels very smooth. Even the underside is very pretty. This is mine. I had bought this for myself and I have worn her. Very pretty. It has a more modern closure. Lobster claw. Eight inches. And let's see. Art Nouveau style 925. Oh, are there any signatures on it? Let me see. Let me see if I can find a, any markings for you. I bought this from Kirsten Red for myself. I don't see any markings on it. The clasp is marked 925. Right there. And just so you can get an idea of how it looks on the wrist. And where is it? It's $54 today. I've showed it before, so I'm offering it today at a lower price. Give someone the opportunity to grab it. It's beautiful. Okay. Next. Next, I have another Whiting and Davis piece. This is my last Whiting and Davis piece for the day. Um, this is a locket. It came to me in this bag, Whiting Davis bag. Here is the chain. This is a substantial chain. In beautiful condition, silver tone. Twisted. Really pretty. Here is the closure. And here is the Whiting Davis tag. Right there. And here is the pendant. Beautiful bale with some etching on it. And here she is, a lovely Art Nouveau style lady in nature. This is a good size locket. You can see on my hand just how substantial this is. Um, let me see, I have some measurements for you. The locket itself is two and a quarter inches. That seems smaller to me than what it looks like in, in my hand. Let's see. It's a little bigger than that. It's closer to two and a half inches. And let's look at the inside. Really pretty. I'm just checking it out, I'm sorry, because I'm wondering, you see how it has these little things? It's like a collar. I don't think it's made so that you can put photos in there. I wouldn't mess with it, but anyway, sorry, I got a little distracted there. And here is the back of the piece in really beautiful condition. Some slight scratching from age. But overall, a really beautiful, beautiful piece. Did I say the chain is 30 inches? So it's a nice long pendant piece. And I've priced it at $22. $22. Waiting in Davis. Signed piece. Okay, let's see. What's up next? Let's do... Let's do this brooch. I have these two pieces. A brooch and a pair of earrings that are absolutely stunning. Let me put them on my little ring holder here. I mean earring holder. These earring holders that I got in are really pretty, but they're not the greatest to work with, if I'm completely honest. Okay, so there are the earrings, 
and I'm selling these two pieces separately just in case someone wants just the brooch and someone wants just the earrings but look at this stunning brooch and all these a b stones all prong set all there here is a view of the side with the height you can see the layering one two three four five layers four layers of stones one two three four and then you have some metal layers in between here is the back really beautiful condition and this brooch is let's see what the measurement on it it's two and a quarter inches really beautiful and the brooch is $34 and then I have the matching earrings also beautifully done prong set not signed beautiful and then I didn't measure the earrings let me give you a measurement on them the earrings that match that beautiful brooch are $16 and they're about an mm, about an inch a little bit bigger than an inch and there they are and here are the two pieces together really beautiful so the two pieces together total let's see what's what do they total the brooch is so they total fifty dollars together i mean yeah if you buy them separately if you'd like to buy them together if you'd like to buy both pieces um it'll be forty five dollars forty five for the set and let me write that down so i don't forget that that is what i or Orford. Let me write that down because I need to remember and that helps me. Let's see. Together. Okay. Okay. Just one, two, three, four, five, about five pieces left. Um, next up, I'm going to do this stunning ring. I got this ring from Dawn from Hudson Vintage here on YouTube. It is artisan made, handmade azurite in this incredible sort of raindrop shape. I've been told that azurite is very difficult to cut and have in this type of shape. So this is a very special ring. I'm offering at a much lower price than what I paid. Needs a little bit of a polish there. Um, don't know that there's any signatures inside. I believe it says 925 in there. Yes. And this ring is set at, it measures an 8 on the mandrel, but it's a small 8. It does not fit me. I need an 8 a true eight and uh, this fits more like a seven and a half so I'm calling this a seven and a half seven three quarters at the most it's it's look at that stone it's just beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful stone and all this handwork around it it's just gorgeous and I bought this for myself because for myself because I am crazy about this stone and I thought the design and the workmanship was superior and who doesn't love buying pieces from Hudson Vintage uh, let's see what did I price this at today I know that I I've marked it down substantially uh, yes it's at $74 it's a fantastic price for a fantastic ring. Okay, that's that ring. Uh, next up, I have this sweet little rope uh, and natural pearl brooch. It's a twisted rope 
really pretty pretty natural pearls with beautiful sort of blue luster on them here is the pin across the back really beautiful and let's see this bro brooch measures two and a half inches long down to the bottom of the little pearls by one and a half across and it is fourteen dollars no marks or signatures that I could find really beautiful vintage brooch very pretty and lastly I have two necklaces two vintage necklaces this first one I have marked really low because it is acrylic and it does have some wear but I feel like it's worth showing I let me just show you this is the closure beautiful blue and here is the signature on the clasp that says Western Germany these are acrylic bicones with these gold tone caps very very lightweight I think if you have it on or when you have it on it doesn't give itself away as acrylic and it's really pretty it looks like glass to me but it definitely is not and um, it's 18 inches um, at its shortest and let's see what it looks like on I'm trying to see if it's graduated I don't think so I think they're all the same size and here it is really pretty not bad it has great presence for a very lightweight acrylic piece but it is signed with the box clasp Western Germany and it is $12 I priced it really well because I'd like it to find a home boy can't get my finger in there to open it here is the closure and that's that's that beautiful Western Germany Germany no it's not Germany <laughs> And I have one last piece that is a vintage glass, large faceted sort of uh, checkerboard facets. It does have some um, flea bites. This is older. It is tied on silk cord. I restrung these myself. It has a hook and eye closure that is uh, sterling silver filled metal. The pieces in between are a lavender uh, matte glass, also vintage. And these are like a blurple. They're kind of like a blue purple. Look at that color. Beautiful. It is really a stunner. And it measures, um, I believe, 20 inches. Yes, it's 20 inches long. Really beautiful. Beautiful. Let me see. Let me show you that on the neck. It's my last piece of the day. It is $28. Really beautiful. beautiful glass and that's my last piece for the day I hope you saw something that you liked well this one matches my set <laughs> and I hope to hear from you thank you so much for visiting and being here with me and again you can just reach out to me at tinydearvintage at gmail.com I'm always happy to hear from you um, and also I wanted to mention I try to keep a sold list in the comments that I pin and I update but um, that doesn't mean that I don't want you to reach out to me um, you can always reach me with 
questions or comments or concerns, um, I'm always open to hearing from you. So I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.